welcome to this Daegu Korean apartment tour. So as most of you may know, I don't live in Daegu. I actually live in Seoul and I live in a basement apartment. It's kind of sad, but it is home and I will link it up here. But I am currently in Daegu visiting a friend and I'm staying at this wonderful Airbnb in the perfect area and I actually looked up information on it and found a lot of units in this building are for sale and I can tell you about how much the rent will be uh, it depends on which side of the building that you're on obviously which floor but you can do a kind of guesstimation and this is a really popular layout of apartment all over Korea so if you find that you really really love this setup you can find it in all other cities, usually. So yeah, let's take a little look around. Whee. So when you enter, you have the usual area for shoes and this whole wall is storage. And you have a nice little mirror to check yourself before you go out. Next we go in. And this is the living room area. So this is the living room couch and it actually folds out to become a bed, which is really nice as you can see from that little tab down there. So yeah, this can be a bed if you have a guest. Um, it's fine by itself, but folded out it would be almost like a queen size bed. I have this really nice mirror that's actually from Ikea, as are a lot of things in this apartment. And over here is your control panel. So you have all of your lights. Very modern. You have your AC and you actually have a monitor and you can call people from outside, um, just outside of your apartment, which is pretty cool. Then of course there is this view. You are looking out over this park, which has just been waking up. It's quite early in the morning and you get a nice view of the mountains. The street noise isn't that bad, actually. It's quite nice. Now this is a very confusing thing to me. This is a TV. It is just set to the art setting currently, but this is a television. How weird. So as you guys saw for the kitchen, this pulls out, you can actually push it completely flat in, but because of the stools, uh, it's a little bit out. And you have just your normal kitchen with storage, You've got a microwave, you have your sink, and this is actually your laundry machine. There isn't usually, uh, there aren't usually dishwashers in Korean apartments, so they put the laundry machine here. And then you have your two, electric stove tops. I really love the tile. It's so fun. It's the same in the bathroom and I really like it. Unfortunately, one thing you aren't really going to find in Korean apartments is an oven. So if you love to cook in an oven like I do, you will need to purchase one. They're more like toaster ovens. So don't come in expecting an oven because nope. As for the fridge, it's actually hidden looks like just another cabinet but you open it and you get this nice big old fridge and freezer not bad and next up let's see the loft come on up So welcome to the loft area. Uh, just for reference, I'm five foot four, so 163 centimeters, and uh, it is it is a bit difficult to do things up here. If you're just gonna come up here to sleep, it's fine. Um, but like, if you want to get changed up here or something, um, you do have to be quite crouched down. But it gives you that whole free living room downstairs, which is really nice. This is a queen sized bed and it is just the mattress straight on the ground, but it's very comfortable. And all I have up here is my bedside table, and then we have a lot of storage in here. The stairs are a little precarious, yes, but uh, again, you should probably only be coming up here to go to sleep, and the rest of the time is spent downstairs. Now for the bathroom. 
So this is actually quite a modern bathroom. Sorry, it's a little echoey. Most Korean apartments, you have, it's called a wet room. So you would just have your shower completely open and you can get everything wet. I actually quite like mine, but this one, because it is a modern apartment, the shower has a door, which is very exciting. Really big, this big. <laughs> you have a separate shower head and you have this huge one. And you've got your nice little area for your shampoo, and you can close the door. Here is your sink, again with that tile that I really like. I just think it's so pretty. So you have all of this storage in here, typical medicine cabinet. You have your toilet, and this one is the fancy, it's got a bidet, it's got whatever, it's got heat. All that stuff, quite nice. Okay, so that was the tour. It's a small but quaint place, really good for one or two people, two people if you're close. And here is all of the rent information. In Korea, in case you don't know, you have to pay a security deposit. In America, it's usually your first and last month of rent, but in Korea, it's totally different. It's actually a huge chunk of money in cash, in, like in one go. But the thing is, you do get it back. The security deposit is gonna scare you, but just know that you will get it back. So for this building, the prices I've seen listed are almost always 6 million won, which is about 6,000 US dollars. Currently, it is this much uh, conversion. Then the monthly rent is going to be 550,000 won, so $550 or this much as of today. That is just your monthly rent. It should include water actually for this building as it does for mine in Seoul. Sometimes um, certain buildings are like all on one water plan or like all on one gas plan. So you just pay that within your rent, which is kind of nice. Then you pay something called Kwanlibi, which is a payment for all the other extra things in the building. So the building I live in in Seoul, has nothing. It's literally just a building, but this building has a lobby. It has uh, what seems like a night guard or like a security guard. I didn't see him when I came in, but there's definitely a desk there. Um, a nice little mail room. It has elevators. So yeah, you have to pay for that. And the quantity B is 60,000 a month. So you technically, if you add that in with your rent, you're paying 610,000 won, which again is this much uh, monthly. So that would be your rent. And I did a video about uh, how much I spend in a month. I'll put it up here as well. But usually your bills are not gonna be that high. As far as like electric, or gas or even Wi-Fi, it's incredibly cheap, uh, at least compared to America. So your bills aren't gonna be super huge unless maybe during the summer when you're using the AC a lot or during the winter when you're using the heater, but really it's gonna be affordable. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you ever come to Daegu, um, let me know and I will send you a link to this Airbnb. It's really nice. The guy was really easy to talk to. And again, it's in a really great area. It's right downtown, but it's a little bit removed. You have this wonderful view of the mountains. It's just great. So yeah, I would happily live here. I love Daegu. So um, yeah, I, I hope that this was helpful. I love this layout of apartment. I really wish that I had it, but uh, I, I'm happy paying my like 400 something dollars a month. Um, so yeah, I will leave you here. I have to go explore Daegu. It's my last day. I'm going up to Seoul tonight. So I will catch you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Bye.